Play is continuing on. No fouls called. And there'll be one call there. Ryan Mullen who leads the team in fouls committed. That's a straight red. No, I mean, I've seen it um, probably once properly. And that no replays or nothing. Just um, and it wasn't me going to watch it. Someone was playing it, and I just happened to see it. So um, yeah, I mean, I haven't really relived it. Um, the first nights in the hospital when you're on your own and the nurses leave and the doctors leave, that's all you can think of because you're trying to think um, what could have been done different and so forth. But um, since then, no, I'm getting further and further away. Now I'm at a place in the tunnel where I'm not looking back. I'm looking towards the light, so um, I can see the finish lines coming closer. At first, obviously. All the muscles die initially, um, the quad dies, your hamstring dies and all stuff. So the first five weeks just in hospital, we were just laying there, couldn't do much. And then once I got out, it's kind of gone a lot quicker. I um, was on crutches for a while, two crutches, then down to one crutch, then to no crutch at all. And then now start a little bit of jogging, really like jogging. So it's just day by day. And the, the, the barometer really is the pain, how much pain I feel. If I can do a lot of things pain free, they're going to push me. If there's too much pain, then we're going to, that's telling us to stop a little bit. So. Whatever I can tolerate, I can do. Um, the docs gave me the green light, said so do what you can. So um, it's a really fast recovery, to be fair. So I didn't expect to be here after two and a half months, but um, I'll take it. I'm very happy with it. And um, just gonna keep progressing day by day. Um, some days are better than others. Some days it's more pain, but um, whatever the pain allows me to do, I'll do. The mental side is tougher than the physical side because you wanna play. I miss playing football. That's the number one thing. But um, part of me also knows that um, I'm young, have a long career, so there's no rush. You just take it day by day. And um, I've been able to um, take a step back really and kind of reanalyze some stuff and that's good. But um, I've not really played the injury. I don't want to do that. So um, yeah, that day is gone. I'm just moving forward towards my recovery day. If I can measure it, for example, the injury happened on a Friday. So every Friday since I've been better than the Friday before, that's a very good sign. And um, I'm always trying to do small stuff. Obviously, I, have, I still have some issues with some of the nerves in my foot. You know, my toes don't have the complete motion and stuff. So even when you're sleeping or taking a nap, you're trying to move your toes. Always trying to get a little bit of a of a head start. So um, yeah, I'm always doing stuff. Always trying to stretch, and um, it consumes your thoughts in everyday life because you're obsessed with getting better. One of the best things I did was um, not setting a a date to come back publicly because um, that would have been too much pressure. Um, if I work towards a six months or eight months um, and then I missed it, then I'd get discouraged. So um, I've said from day one, um, this is day by day, day by day. The day that I can play and with no pain and feel confident, that's the day I'll, I'll be back. When that will be, I don't know. So each day, each day is a victory. And there they go. If you're watching, Steve, you haven't been forgotten. Don't worry about that. Get well soon. Come back to us quickly. I think obviously the big one everyone saw was um, the tribute and the number 11 signs in the 11th minute against Toronto. So um, that was obviously very moving and uh, I've seen it on YouTube and stuff and it's very moving. Um, you get messages still every day on Facebook from people and on Twitter and all kinds of stuff. And I see fans in the streets and Starbucks and Target and hey, Zach Wani, get well soon, get better. And that encourages me. You know, we need you, we miss you. So um, it definitely encourages me. And um, I use that as motivation because I definitely do want to play for this city again and play for this team again. I'm enjoying watching the guys. So um, I'll kind of be a fan for as long as I need to be. And then eventually one day I'll be back on the field and then I'm looking forward to the day I run out on Quest Field again, or Century Nook Field. So uh, they just changed the name. So when the fans stand up and clap, and I don't know if I come on as a sub or whatever, you kind of dream of that day, and then um, it'll be a very emotional day, and it'll make all these other days worth it.